My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here. I know you're a busy man. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Hey guys, I am Jonathan George and I'm here in Los Angeles, California. I am the CEO of JG Entertainment. And for the past 20 years, I've been um, creating and branding and launching a lot of the big young superstars here in LA and now, and as well as creating top brands for top influencers and entrepreneurs. And now I am really honing in on our leaders and our entrepreneurs to take them from ordinary to rock star status because we need the next generation to rise up and change the vibration of this planet. They need to be walking in their greatness so that they can truly make change in this world. So that's I agree I with that one hundred percent. Listen, I couldn't, I couldn't help it, but I saw one of your Instagram videos. I think I, I marked it saved on my phone. I watched it twice. It was about gratitude. I Man. think that talk that you did by the ocean. I love the view, but I think the message you were sending was amazing. So. If you could share that with our audiences, and then later on, once the video is done, I'm going to put a little link so they could go and watch that. But I think the message that you were sending, it was right on the point, man. It was right on. Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah. You know, gratitude is everything. Gratitude shifts and changes our, our endorphins in our body. It changes our mindset. You know, and of course, you know, we've been talking about think and grow rich, and everything starts in the mind. And if you sit there and think about, a bad situation, you think about what you don't have, that's all that you're gonna have is more of that. But as soon as you raise your vibrational level to, and, and people are like, what is vibrational level? Well, as a musician, if this is a tuning fork and I hit that tuning fork and go ding, 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 this tuning fork over here will vibrate at that same note even after you stop the other one, ding. So your vibrational level draws in what you give focus to, right? And so, if you are thinking about, uh, if you're thankful for the small things and you're thankful for the blessings that you have in your life, it completely changes all your, your perception. It changes your viewpoints. It changes the endorphins in yourself. Gratitude is everything. And if you'll spend time, and in fact, scientifically, if you will have a practice of daily gratitude, it makes you a happier person. Yeah, man, you just gotta, you just gotta be thankful for, for being alive. So many other people don't wake up in the morning. The fact that you woke up so many systems, so many, you know, so many chemicals, so many, so many vibrations, so many things needed to go right for you to open up your eyes yeah. in the morning and still be breathing. I, I just don't see why people are not, you know, you just gotta give a thank and that doesn't take that much time, what, 5, 10, 15 seconds of your morning, you just say, hey, thank you for me being alive. I, I, you could call it God, energy, power, whatever you believe in, whatever right. that higher power that you believe in, or you could not believe anything. But as right. long as you put that vibration out there, it works. Man, 100% it works. You know, it's amazing to me that to watch somebody who, you go to country, other countries, you know, I'm here in Los Angeles, everybody lives like kings and queens. But you go to other countries and people who have hardly anything, yet they're so ha happy and so thankful. And they are just happy, loving, beautiful people. But yet people here who are wearing their Gucci and their Prada and the Chanel and they're living out on Rodeo Drive. And yet they're the most miserable, unhappy human beings because all they're doing is, is trying to fill those voids rather than just being very simplistic and saying, man, I'm so thankful for what I have. You know what I mean? And I so, agree with that. Now, here's my question. It's it's the fulfillment inside. You could have all the stuff outside of you, house, Gucci, whatever, cars, Rodeo Drive, whatever, all that stuff. But it, it's what inside is what matters. If inside you're not – listen, you could repaint and remodel the kitchen, but you cannot remodel and re do all that stuff to yourself unless you go after it. It's still you in that kitchen. So I see so many people remodeling their house thinking miraculously something is gonna change. You're still the same person that, yeah. you get the point, you get the well, point. Well, you know, I'm, I, always, I always say is that, that I, I can teach you everything. I can give you, it's like a cook giving you a pan, giving you the food, the ingredients, but you're gonna starve to death if you don't take action and make your food. And, you know, I, all these people that I coach and train and teach, 
The ones who take action are the ones who succeed. So you have to take the action. You have to take those steps every single day and take the actions. I mean, you know, and I'm sitting here, and this is my, my daily book of like to-do list of things that have to be taken, have, action has to be taken in order for me to reach where I want to go. You know, and, and not everybody has to have that many actions. I'm an overachiever, man. I've got a lot of dreams that I've got to fulfill. So, um, you, you know, but you've got to take action in those things every day. And it's all about the action. So let's talk about conscious mind and subconscious mind. I know you're a big believer of subconscious mind. And I know you work with a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of different people. You coach them, take them for what they're at to their glorious time. And you do that. So elaborate a little bit on that and assume that I don't know nothing about it. Well, my, you know, it's really funny. I didn't read Think and Grow Rich probably until two years ago. And, um, but this is something I've been teaching forever. And my saying is, in order to become, you must be. There's no other way. So, you know, all these people are like, I'm, I'm, uh, what are you doing here in, in LA? They're like, um, aspiring actor. I'm an aspiring singer. There is no aspiring. You're either an actor or you're not an actor. You're either a singer, you're not a singer. You're an entrepreneur or you're not an entrepreneur. You're either a writer or you're not a writer. Which one is it? They're like, uh, uh, I'm an actor. Okay, now we can go somewhere with this. The mindset has to already be there in order for you to become that in which you're seeking. It's a very simple thing, right? And, and so your mindset has to change on every aspect. Um, you know, and, and it's really funny because coaching all these uh, people how to perform, um, I'm like, you, you, confidence. You, they don't have confidence, but we have to fake the confidence. And what I'll do is I'll make them stand in a warrior pose and I'll go and try to push them over and they'll fall over the first time. But that second time, they don't fall over, you know, and I'll, I'll push them hard. And, and, and I'm like, how did that feel? They're like, wow, that felt powerful. Yeah. So they had to fake what that felt like in order to, to know what it feels like to be confident and strong, right? So things are, a lot of times it's faking it. Even though if you don't believe it, you still got to tell yourself the story that you need to hear and know in order to, if you see that, that bullseye vision, in order to get there, you literally have to just, I mean, you have to keep saying it over and over. I am this, I am this, I am this. And behind me, you can see, this is my intention wall that I built. And it is full of every intention that I plan on getting, you know, and, and it's, it's not full of like cars and, and houses and that kind of stuff. It's stuff that how I can make the greatest impact in the world, right? And so even though I may not be ready for some of these things, that is my vision. And I'm gonna keep telling myself, you will be on there, you deserve to be there, this is where you're going to make your greatest impact. And so, you know, you have to, it's a, it's a, I don't know if you're familiar with the secret. I'm sure you know what the secret is, right? And, no. and I remember uh, reading the book and I mean, I, thought, I was like, well, this is common sense. You know, this is amazing. And what you seek, you, you will find. But you've got to be, and back to my, my word of vibration, um, and, and I'm all about energy. And you know, in teaching performance and teaching people how to um, to connect with people, it's all energy based. Everything's energy based. I mean, when you walk into a room, is it what's the energy like, right? What's the vibe? We all talk about that, and it's a very real thing. And when you really get focused to it, it's very powerful. But what the thing is is that people go and they put that they want this and they want that, but yet their vibrational level is not matching that of which they're seeking. So if you're seeking something, then your vibrational level better match that. And, and it may not be at this moment, but you got to keep building towards that, what you're seeking. And that's, a very, that that's a very key point. So, so with the entertainment industry, with, with the field that you're very, very familiar with, what are the two common challenges that you think they go through? Is it, is it lack of self-confidence? Is that, is that what's, what's the biggest hurdle, hurdle is for that industry? Well, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what industry it is. It is always lack of self-confidence. And my, my movement, which is Unleash Your Rockstar, 
is all about building your confidence and having unshakable confidence so that you can go out into the world and, and do what you're meant to do, what your calling is in your life, what, what's calling you, what, is, what do you feel like you're supposed to be doing? Because self-confidence and the lack of self-confidence will stifle you every single time because why? It causes fear. I'm not good enough. Who am I to do this? It's also comparing myself to be like, well, who am I to do this? Tony Robbins is already doing it. Gary Vee is already doing it. Well, I can't worry about what they're doing. I got to do what JG is doing, right? I got I to gotta focus on what my heart is telling me to do. And so that lack of self-confidence is everything. And the Unleash Your Rockstar movement is all about building that unshakable confidence so that you can step up into the world in your highest potential so that you can have the greatest uh, success, influence, and impact in the world. Not I just about serving yourself, but about serving the world and make it a, if everybody would raise their vibrational level. Ooh, to their boy. Greatness, that would be dude, awesome. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have homelessness. We wouldn't be having mental health issues. We would not be having all this murdering that's happening in the world. If everybody was walking in their highest vibrational level, it would be so powerful. I agree with that 100%. So here's my question. Give me two practical steps that I can take as an entrepreneur to build up my confidence. What would be your recommendation? What are two things that I could implement immediately? Number one is understanding your why. Why are you doing it? Because if you have your why, then you will always, no matter where you, where, where you get stopped or you get, you know, what, what position you're in, if you can go back to that why and say, this is my why of what I'm doing, why I'm doing this. This is my purpose. And I saw somebody make a comment about something about purpose and I couldn't read it fast enough. I'm not that talented to be able to be like, read and, and talk and do all that. <clears throat> but your purpose is everything, your why. And if you remember that, that always will help you stay confident because even when the negativity sets in, when, the <clears throat> when those thoughts of, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, who am I? Uh, they're doing it better than me. Look, they've already got, you know, 200,000 followers and I've got two followers. Who am I to do this? This is why I'm doing this. And I'm going to keep showing up every single day and walk in my power. And that really is the best, most number one thing. And the other thing is truly understand what your gifts and your talents are. And, you know, when we talk about talents, people think, oh, a singer or somebody who, uh, can play basketball and always hits the three pointer, or we're talking about somebody who is a, is a genius mind. No, your superpowers are your innate gifts that you were born with. Whether that is a people per person, whether that's a connector, whether that is somebody who is very just and loyal. There's so many different types of things that we have, characteristics that we have that are superpowers. And when you lack in certain areas, use your superpowers and your strengths, you know, it's, I've got this picture of Britney Spears over here on my wall and in my studio. And, and it's not because I'm a huge Britney Spears fan, but all of these people come to me wanting to be Christina Aguilera. And it's quite all right to be Britney Spears. And we think Britney Spears is, oh, she's not as good a singer. No, what she did, she used all of her talents and her gifts to show up in the world. She has got a greater impact in the world. She has more number one hits. She has won more accolades. And yet we think of her as the lesser talent. It's not about the talent. 20% is talent. 80% is how you show up in the world and how you use that talent, how you sharpen that talent and the confidence you have and the, and the way that you brand that talent to make it shine. I so, agree with that. I was talking to an influencer the other day and, and, and he asked me what the secret with Instagram and social media is. And I said, you got to post two times per day. And then the next question was, every day? And I was like, see, you're just not, you're just not caught out for it. Yes, you got to show up every day. Just like every you day. eat every day, you, you, you shower every day, you, you, you pray every day. I mean, you drive to work every day. You do certain activity. You take, I mean, just the basic necessity that we do, you breathe every day. You know, you sleep every day. You should sleep every day. So you do these things every day. Why should entrepreneurship and business be any different? A singer needs to sing every day. 
a basketball player needs to play basketball and practice those shots every day. Every day. It's not once in a while. It's not a hobby. That, that, that's different. If you're going to do it for profession and you're going to get good at it, where you demand people to pay you top dollar, you better be showing up every day. It's not an option. It's mandatory. Mandatory. And, you know, and, and if you can't show up in that, there's, there's something that's either you're not passionate about that or you just not learn the discipline in order to become that. And I will never forget, I moved to Los Angeles. I was a grand champion winner. I'm Ed McMahon's next big star. I was doing all these incredible things. And um, they, that was when Google first came out and they typed my name in and found out that I was gay. And my, I lost my contract. Uh, my management team tried to get me married. They tried to change the music that I did. They tried to change all the stuff about me. And I, and I made a decision right then and there that I had to be authentically me. I wasn't going to lie to the world. And, and that's when I made the change to start actually coaching talent because I was, I was like, I want to help people rock the person that they are rather than trying to change them. If this a heavy set kid with freckles and big ears, let's own that and be awesome in that. And those kids are the ones who work the most is when they're confident in who they are and they're working who they are. But I, I was saying that to say that I kind of was always the kid that like things came easy to me. Uh, I had, I was talented, but I wasn't the most talented in the room, but because I had a bigger personality, I'd always book or, or do more. Um, but I will never forget watching the movie. I think it was Vanilla Sky with Tom Cruise and Penelope Cruz. And I will never forget, it was my 27th birthday. And I couldn't tell you what the movie really was about, but what I took away from that movie, because he, you know, his face got disfigured from the car wreck and, and it like took away his meaning in life. And I was like, who am I? What is my gift and what is my talent? And how am I really showing up in the world? And that is when I shifted and changed how I showed up every single day. Cause I was like, I'm gonna have the discipline to become the best. I wanna make sure that people are looking at me and not going, oh, your, he's, you know, his personality is winning him. It's this that's helping him win. No, I wanted to be the best at what I was doing. And so that was the drive that I started having in order to um, be successful at what I do. Just like what you're saying, you've got to show up every single day. Oh, you got to show and up. That's when it's got to be more important for you to do incredible rather than it is to go meet people for, for a drink or for dinner or for going and, you know, I'm all for balance, but there's a time where you have to put your head down and just drive it so hard and so fast in order to become great. For you to walk in your greatness, you've got to put in the work. There's no I other way. I agree with that 100%. I was just telling my wife the other day, I said, fuck balance. I need to go win. So when my daughter grows up, says, you know what? My dad put everything on the line. He went to work for his goals and his dreams and didn't use me as an excuse for him not to win in his life. I was like, my daughter's going to grow up. She's going to probably marry somebody, go and have her, you know, her own life, her own children, her own castle, her own kingdom, all of that stuff. I shouldn't be putting my life on hold for, for that. I got to show up and win for 100%. me so I could set the right example for her not for her to watch other people and use them as an example i want her to use me and my wife i mean she's probably going to use my wife her english is much better than mine so she's going to probably but it's cool i'll be the second person she's looking up to so it's uh no well, man you gotta and, go and you gotta go to work no excuse it yeah and one of the things though that i will say is that i agree with you that you've got to like push through but also you've got to remain balanced in your mind i agree your body your soul and your finances like, those four things have to be in balance in order for you to really be happy and that family is part of your soul it's part of the spiritual practice that you have because it's your love it's your connecting to tribe and um and you know a lot of times we do go so hard because you know we want to make it for our kids but those kids really want you there more than anything right so it's having that balance and, and i'm all for pushing and and grinding and hustling but I also have to re be reminded to stop, enjoy my life, enjoy my spouse, enjoy what my family and some friends, you know, so I, e I even had to write that in my intention journal each week of what my rock is going to be personally is to connect and have dinner 
uh, or drinks or something with two people each week. You know what I mean? And so, so that I stay connected because man, I'm like you, I will just be like, boom, I'll be in my office. Like I'll be like 13 hours later being like, man, I haven't eaten yet. What's going on? You know, I was telling my wife, the next office I open needs to have a shower in it. And she's like, no, we're not doing that. Then you won't come home. I'm like, sometimes you just got to be in the office grinding it. You got to do what you got to do. But no, I agree with you. Uh, family time is important, connecting with them. But listen, when I grew up, my mom was always working. But I knew my mom is working for our family. I knew my mom is trying to provide for us. It wasn't that she wanted to make the money or build her business for her personal gain only. I understood that it was a family commitment. It was for all of us. And right. I, I got that, you know, she didn't have to say it. I, I would, even even as I was a kid, 12, 13, 14, I, I knew that, like I understood that, that that is what she's doing. And so I, I know kids, sometimes you don't give them credit because we think they're young, but man, these kids are smart. They get it. Don't ever discredit them just because they're young. These things is just, it's your vibration. They catch yeah. on to that. It, it, it does not use a, any vocabulary or any language. It's it's the energy vibration. You know if someone if someone has their guidance and their heart on the right path. You could yeah. you could you could kind of feel it if they're being genuine or not genuine or what their reasoning yeah. behind it is. You may not be able to pinpoint exactly, yeah. but that gut feeling we all know when it's right and we all know when it's wrong. You know, yeah, I mean, you know, we're, it's, we're, we're, we're born to know whether to, you know, we're born to either fight or flight. You right. know what I mean? Like we were born with that. And so when the problem is, is people don't listen to their intuition to learn, listen to their, their, their body. Like when, when something doesn't feel right, listen to that. Last year, I was supposed to go to Bali for three weeks. I was supposed to go in there. I was getting my master's practitioner's license in neuro linguistic programming and, and that's called yeah. NLP. And um, there's something I kept every time I get would think about it, man, I get the sick feeling in my stomach, but I pushed through it. I was like, it's okay. You're, you're just acting weird. You're acting crazy. And so I went to the airport and the, I, and going to the airport, I was like, Oh man, I was dreading it. I got to the counter. He's like, sorry, you can't go. You've only got five months left on your um, passport. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. What's wrong? He's like, no, you have to have six months. We can't let you go. And I was like, hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And literally, I came home. I would have missed um, uh, my partner being a, becoming a U.S. citizen. And then my dog, my, which is my life, 14 and a half, I had her for 14 and a half years. She got sick and died within a week. And I would have missed all those things that I would have had to fly home for you know what i mean i would have missed what i was doing in the first place everything and, happens for a reason they put me in the in the same program here in la on uh in february in february of this year and met people that have i mean one of the guys is actually working with me now and so it's just amazing how everything happens exactly the way it's supposed to but you gotta I, it had had god not put intervene and said you can't go even though i already knew i wasn't supposed to go but i wasn't listening you know what i mean i wasn't so listening you but god it. was like yeah. punk you need to sit your ass down you're not going <laughs> <laughs> you needed a sign at the airport for you not to go no listen right. I'm, I'm a big believer on that there are no accidents in life everything happens for a reason so i don't know why we haven't connected earlier man i'm in woodland hills you're in la which part of la are you're you in woodland in? i'm in north hollywood dude we're gonna dude, you're like 20 miles away we need maybe to even less maybe 15. yeah you're down the block no listen i appreciate you taking this busy time out of your schedule being with us i look forward to do a lot more collaboration especially that you're local but uh i'm, I'm excited about this man i'm excited yeah, thank you, brother. Really appreciate you having me on, and uh, thanks for everybody for listening. Sorry, I didn't read what you were writing because I couldn't. I couldn't read it that fast. Yeah, I think we got. I think we got most of the questions in. I appreciate you being here today. Looking forward to do more with you, brother. All right, peace out. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.